Aloha. You're watching F5 On Demand. I'm Technical Marketing Manager Peter Silva. We're here in San Francisco for VMworld 2013. 10 years of VMworld, Charlie. It is 10 years, yes. We're in booth 1529. If you're at the show, please come on by and see us. And we're fortunate to have one of my most favorite people at F5, and I say this every time I get you on camera, Charlie Cano, he's a senior solution architect handling our VMware partnership. Charlie, always love seeing you, man. Good to see you again, Peter. And so today, VMware announced the launching of NSX, and in conjunction with that, F5 also announced our integration with VMware's NSX solution. And so I just thought I'd get Charlie here on camera to talk a little bit about exactly what is NSX and what is it, you know, how does it, how do we integrate with it? What does it all mean for customers? Sure, so the, the quickest, simplest solution or answer for what is NSX, it's essentially VMware's network virtualization platform. So if you know ESX being their server virtualization where you can take ESX and make lots of physical servers act and behave like one and then carve up logical groupings of compute resources, right. NSX is the same thing for networking. So the idea is there's a new sort of network hypervisor across all of your infrastructure and then within that, you can define virtual networks and the services that applications will consume from within those logical groups. So what we've announced today at the show is a continuation of F5's integration efforts with VMware. And last year, we announced uh, integration with vCloud Networking and Security. So NSX is the sort of evolution of vCloud Networking and Security, or vCNS with the integration or the acquisition of NYSERA from VMware. Okay. So what F5 and VMware have announced uh, today at the show is F5's integration with the NSX platform. So I can kind of show you here. If you think of, if oh, you think of. How yeah, about it? Yeah. <laughs> if you think of NSX being how you provision virtual networks and services for those networks that applications consume, with our integration with F5's big IQ cloud platform, the idea is when you are within the VMware console and you go into NSX, you can actually select what F5 services you want to configure and deploy from within that console or that management plane, and it'll deploy services on top of Big IP to support your applications. So if you've got NSX running in your environment, you've got F5 Big IQ Cloud, which is our central management platform. Those two have integrations through API, our REST-based API and their REST-based API. So an administrator, can log into NSX, say I want to provision F5 services within my VMware environment. They can select an IAP template from F5, which actually allows us to configure anything that F5 offers. Okay. So you select which IAP template you want, provision it, and what happens is Big IQ will then talk to our Big IP platform, configure those services, and then your customer up here accesses the app through F5. We load balance and apply all those services and now you've got F5 provisioned and configured through NSX with our integration. And that, and that also takes into account like spinning up additional VMs and instances on VMs and so forth? Or? So there's nothing within the NSX platform itself for provisioning new application servers. Okay. However, um, we also have uh, automation orchestration through vCloud Orchestrator okay. or vCenter Orchestrator. So it's sort of like you can think of this being the network and services provisioning piece. When you want to provision new app servers, you would do that through either vSphere or Cloud Director. Tying those two together, you can do that through automation and orchestration with VCO or uh, vCenter Orchestrator. Got it. So the provisioning piece for network and services is done through NSX. For the virtual machines themselves, if you wanted to spin up new v virtual machines, you would do that by sort of tying in this provisioning with vCenter Orchestrator and virtual machine provisioning. And so, so for an administrator, what does it really mean? It just means much more automation, probably less errors due to you know, fat fingers and such? Yeah, it actually helps you streamline the whole process. So once you've got the configuration set up, you can go in, provision your VMs, and then say, I've got my application out there, I want to provide high availability and SSL offload and caching and acceleration from F5. I can do that within the same workflow by selecting an F5 template and deploying it through NSX and Big IQ Cloud. That's pretty darn cool. So, you know, one of the things I've also noticed today that um, a number of other vendors had announced integration. You know, they have this, they have the, you know, the little uh, flyers and the sticker on their booths. Right. What makes F5 solution and integration unique? 
So I think the, the primary key here is that we're not just talking about load balancing. Right. So F5 offers a suite of services, as you know, across you know, availability, security, acceleration, um, and all of those services. Basically, anything you can do with F5, you can provision through this integration. And the way we do that, sort of the key piece is templating through IAPS. So from within NSX, deploying an F5 service means deploying any service F5 has, which includes load balancing and availability and you know, security and acceleration. So our entire breadth of why you would choose F5 over just you know, some other solution, yeah. all of that's accessible and deployable through NSX. Pretty cool stuff and really benefits the customer in the, lo in the long run, just making it so much easier for them. Right, and this is, you know, we're previewing the solution here. As everybody knows, this is an ongoing process. We continue to uh, improve and simplify the workflow. Uh, but at the end of the day, you know if you're going with F5, you've trusted F5, yep. this partnership and integration will continue so that you can always achieve and access the trusted F5 solutions with your VMware environment, and it's essentially future-proofing. That was one of the things I was talking with Frank, the business development manager with VMware, our, our business development manager, is that our relationship with them goes a lot deeper than you know, the, the pinky shake and you know, let's go hold hands out in the field together. Yeah, absolutely. We're tackling integration on a number of different levels. NSX is one. We've got another one with uh, vCenter Orchestrator. We're doing it with the end user computing. So F5 and VMware have been working closely together for a very long time. We continue to go you know, to do so, and it's, it's at the lowest levels all the way up. So it is a very deep integration and partnership that we're pretty excited about. And so, and also today at 3.30 you have a session. I actually previewed your session um, earlier. Well, you know, hold, held up the little signage that said Charlie speaking. Can you tell us a little bit about your presentation this afternoon? Sure, so uh, I present at 3.30 today, and it essentially is around managing automation orchestration for application delivery services. And one of the key messages there is that you know, you hear a lot about SDN and software-defined networking. For the most part, that's layer two and three. Right. What makes uh, uh, automation orchestration for layer four through seven services, they are distinctly different. They're harder to automate and orchestrate, and so I address a lot of the you know, unique characteristics of why it's different than layer two and three, and how you can achieve that with F5, but also in general, what the right architecture is, the right model, uh, to really kind of achieve the software-defined data center. Yeah, application layer SDN. Absolutely. Always great seeing you, Charlie. You too, Peter. So, I got Jonathan behind the lens again. It's like old times, isn't it, Charlie? Yeah, about every year, <laughs> roughly. Yeah. Jonathan, thank you for Charlie, my good buddy, Charlie. I'm Peter, and we're with F5 Networks. Thanks for watching.